plaintiff, Penny Richards, says the defendant is her daughter. And Penny claims after she got into legal trouble for mortgage fraud, her attitude changed. Penny says the defendant now has a sense of entitlement, and she's suing her today for unpaid loans. Defendant Melissa Hayes says she and her mother have never gotten along. And when she was 13 years old, her mother kicked her out and forced her to live with a relative. Melissa insists Penny is suing her prematurely. Let's start with you. Um, saddens me to be here today. It's my daughter. She had gotten into some trouble in 206. Um, How was she which, as a young lady growing up? Um, we've always had a love-hate relationship. Um, I feel like she's got this entitlement about her that I owe her whatever. Um, she had gotten into some trouble in 206, mortgage fraud. When did she begin thinking that you owed her? It seems like after she got into the trouble that she'd gotten into. How old was she then? She, um... Okay. Wasn't a minor anymore? Yeah, no, she was not a All minor, right. Your so, Honor. Well, I hope you know. I hope folks know. View and you do owe your child. Yes. You owe them a quality education. You owe them uh, food and shelter. You owe them decent clothes. You owe them a lot when they're minors. You're absolutely right, Teaching your honor. them right for wrong. Teaching them values. Now, when they get, you know, I'm a thing. Uh, I. Does she? Nope. After 18, she doesn't know your thing, does she? No, Your Honor. And if she's nice enough, she'll send you to college. But you don't owe them that. But you should. Did you send her to college? No, Your Honor, I didn't. That's why she's trying to collect back payment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is about, back payment for no college. All right, but she got in trouble in 06. Yes, she did. It came to light in 2013. She did two years probation, and it just seems like that situation with the mortgage or the withholding evidence, the mortgage fraud, her spirit isn't the same, her attitude's not the same. Hold on. For mortgage fraud in 06, mm -hmm. she was prosecuted. In 2013 for withholding, evidence. For withholding evidence. We've always had a love-hate relationship. Um, I feel like she's got this entitlement about her that I owe her whatever. Um, she had gotten into some trouble in 206 mortgage fraud. Defendant Melissa Hayes is being sued by her mother, who she claims kicked her out when she was 13 years old. How much did you pay? $20, $50? It was a million dollar loan. I was given, I well, was Well, you're supposed to be a the Wall Street crook. <laughs> no. You <laughs> need to be, was she in New York? <laughs> what, you on Wall Street? Detroit, Nonetheless, Michigan. you got my point. I'm yeah. just making yes. a point here. Yeah. Uh, all those folks ripped this whole country off and nearly caused the economy to collapse were it not for President Obama coming in and saving our economy. And little folks like you got probation and the big boys got away and got a fine that their insurance companies paid for. Shame, shame, shame. You'll give me some background, ma'am. Um, well, Your Honor, my mother and I have never had a close mother-daughter relationship. Um, she's very controlling and very um, self-absorbed. She doesn't even have a relationship with her own mother and sisters because they're all that way. Um, I haven't lived with my mother since I was 13. That's not I've lived with my grandmother, my aunt. When I was 19, I was pregnant, I needed to come back home and live, but because she didn't like my son's father, I was not an abusive relationship. Why did you leave at 13? Um, her and I have never gotten along. I've lived with my grandma most of my life. Most, a lot of children don't get along with mother then or father at some point because they don't want to obey the rules. Then, of course, it got to the point she wouldn't let me come back home. Um, so when Were I you obeying the rules? No. no. We don't act like she put you out or like she did something wrong. No, but I was 13 and no, she, she wasn't, dealt your with it. No, it's making... not if you decided to leave, how's she going to deal with that? I didn't decide to leave. Oh, she put you out. I not at go, 13, I, I did not. I with my grandparents. Did she tell you to go? Yes, did she make the, you go? Yes, and not when at I 13. was 16, I had to go live with my aunt. And she made you? Yes. If she had rules, I don't see why she would make you leave. That doesn't make sense. So, I don't know what to believe in that instance. Uh, she certainly didn't cause you to commit fraud, right? No. Was that your only offense? Yes. All right, good. It wasn't fraud either, Your Honor. It was withholding evidence. Okay. Regarding fraud. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Typical criminal. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Tell me about the loans you're suing for. Um, she had me to get four payday loans out for her, promised to pay them back. Empty promise after empty promise. She didn't repay them. Payday loan. Payday loan. You didn't have money in your account, obviously. Yes. It was you a, did? It was in my... Then why did you go to payday loan? Check that, that's and... A, Exorbitant amount of interest. I know it is, but I didn't want to take it out of my account. I didn't think I was going to have to take it out of my account, my personal account. Okay. And then she called me for rent, um, $550. Give me some dates and some amounts. I have the breakdown here for Let's you. see it, please. And the receipts. Here's the breakdown. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And they were how many? There was uh, four payday loans, and then there's a loan there that wrote out of my checking account for rent. January of 15, October 15, 11, 15. A couple of these are a year apart or 10 months apart. Another one is the next month. Another one is an entire year from the first loan. And you hadn't been paid for any of them. Why would you keep loaning it to her? Because she's my daughter and she had two of my grandkids. Well, then why you decide to sue her today if she's a because daughter she's, and had two of your grandkids? She's promised to pay me back and she hasn't paid well, me Well, you anything. knew by February 16 that she wasn't going to pay you from the loan you gave her January 15, a year earlier. Actually, I have one from, um, these are from right from the check and go. I know you do. Come on. She's not paying you anything, <laughs> ma'am. What about these loans you haven't paid your mother? Your Honor, they were ongoing loans, so yeah. they, they were paid and then they were reborrowed. When she reborrowed for me, I lost my job in December and I was out of work for two months. She reborrowed from you? No, reborrowed for me. Okay. Because I had been paid, I had paid. Bottom for line. Uh, did you borrow a total of twenty-five eighty that is currently unpaid? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so we're not talking about the repaid loans. We're talking about the outstanding loans. What defense do you have to the outstanding loans? I feel she's suing me prematurely. Yes, I bor borrowed the money. One was from January 15. Yes, I fell on some financial problems. I lost my job. I'm a single mother. Um, and I just got back to work. I've only been back to work for two months. So I'm How long still were you off? I was off for two months. This is over a year and a half nearly. Yes, Your Honor. So why couldn't you pay her something on that? I've offered to pay her, but she tells me I, she didn't give it to me that way. She doesn't want it back that way. I can't pay That's full lump sum. That's not true. She wouldn't, you wouldn't take half? That's not or true. Or I have tax. Saying that what? That I won't take any of that 2580 I have text that it's due and she needs it all paid. Oh, she put you out. I got it 13, I, had I did not. With my grandparents. Did she tell you to go? Yes. Did she and make I'm, you go? Yes, I got it 13. I was 16, I had to go live with my aunt. And she me. made you. Yes. Defendant Melissa Hayes is being sued by her mother, who she claims kicked her out when she was 13 years old. For which loan? You got four, remember? <laughs> which one? Anyone. Anyone. Okay, so that must have been after February 16 that she said that. Yes. And let me see it, it where it says any of them. And that's because she's told me that she would have the one lump sum. That's why and I she did. has a right to demand all of her money? That's not a defense to not paying. If you had didn't have a payment plan, and it doesn't sound like you did, a binding payment plan, she can ask for all of her money at any time. Whenever you owe somebody money, you better talk as sweet as you can to them. Unless you have a repayment agreement, like you're living under somebody's roof. And folks get mad because they won't go for their mess while they're living under their roof. You want to obey the rules? Leave. Mm -hmm. It's your own place. If you're an adult, she just told you that at 13. Just kidding, you didn't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> judgment for the plaintiff, ma'am, you owe her by your own admission. Have a good day, judgment Thank for you. the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. I've never been good enough for her. That's not true. That's the way she feels. Well, always, that's always, that's always my opinion. It's never the way she makes me feel. It's always because I feel that way. She never takes anything for any, she never takes fault for anything. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm not perfect. <laughs>